A constellation is a group of stars that forms an imaginary outline or meaningful pattern on the celestial sphere, typically representing an animal, mythological person or creature, a god, or an inanimate object. Origins for the earliest constellations likely go back to prehistory. People used them to relate stories of their beliefs, experiences, creation, or mythology. Different cultures and countries adopted their own sets of constellations outlines, some of which lasted into the early 20th century before today's constellations were internationally recognized. Adoption of constellations has changed significantly over time. Many have changed in size or shape. Some became popular, only to drop into obscurity. Others were limited to single cultures or nations. The 48 traditional Western constellations are Greek. They are given in Eratus work Phenomena and Ptolemy Almagest, though their origin probably predates these works by several centuries. Constellations in the far southern sky were added from the 15th century until the mid-18th century when European explorers began traveling to the southern hemisphere. Twelve ancient constellations belong to the zodiac straddling the ecliptic, which the sun, moon, and planets all traverse. The origins of the zodiac remain historically uncertain, its astrological divisions became prominent c. 400 BC in Babylonian or Chaldean astronomy, probably dates back to prehistory. In 1928, the International Astronomical Union formally accepted 88 modern constellations, with contiguous boundaries that together cover the entire celestial sphere. Any given point in a celestial coordinate system lies in one of the modern constellations. Some astronomical naming systems include the constellation where a given celestial object is found to convey its approximate location in the sky. The Flamsteed designation of a star, for example, consists of a number and the genitive form of the constellation name. Other star patterns or groups called asterisms are not constellations per se but are used by observers to navigate the night sky. Asterisms often refer to several stars within a constellation or may share stars with several constellations. Examples include the Pleiades and Hyades within the constellation Taurus and the False Cross split between the southern constellations Carina and Vela, or Venus's mirror in the constellation of Orion. Terminology The word, constellation, comes from the late Latin term constellatio, which can be translated as, set of stars. It came into use in English during the 14th century. The ancient Greek word for constellation is astron. A more modern astronomical sense of the term, constellation, is simply as a recognizable pattern of stars whose appearance is associated with mythological characters or creatures, or earthbound animals, or objects. It can also specifically denote the officially recognized 88 named constellations used today. Colloquial usage does not draw a sharp distinction between constellations and smaller asterisms pattern of stars yet the modern accepted astronomical constellations employ such a distinction e.g. the pleiades and the hyades are both asterisms and each lies within the boundaries of the constellation of taurus another example is the popular northern asterism known as the big dipper us or the plow uk composed of the seven brightest stars within the area of the iau defined constellation of ursa major the Southern False Cross asterism includes portions of the constellations Carina and Vela. A constellation or star, viewed from a particular latitude on Earth, that never sets below the horizon is termed circumpolar. From the North Pole or South Pole, all constellations south or north of the celestial equator are circumpolar. Depending on the definition, equatorial constellations may include those that lie between declinations 45 degrees north and 45 degrees south, or those that pass through the declination range of the ecliptic or zodiac ranging between 23 and a half degrees north, the celestial equator, and 23 and a half degrees south. Although stars in constellations appear near each other in the sky, they usually lie at a variety of distances away from the Earth. Since stars have their own independent motions, all constellations will change slowly over time. After tens to hundreds of thousands of years, familiar outlines will generally become unrecognizable. Astronomers can predict the past or future constellation outlines by measuring individual stars' common proper motions or CPM by accurate astrometry and their radial velocities by astronomical spectroscopy. Topic. History of the early constellations 
The earliest evidence for the humankind's identification of constellations comes from Mesopotamian within modern Iraq inscribed stones and clay writing tablets that date back to 3000 BC. It seems that the bulk of the Mesopotamian constellations were created within a relatively short interval from around 1300 to 1000 BC. Mesopotamian constellations appeared later in many of the classical Greek constellations. Topic: <laughs> Constellations in the ancient Near East. The oldest Babylonian star catalogues of stars and constellations date back to the beginning in the Middle Bronze Age, most notably the three stars each texts and the Mull, APIN, an expanded and revised version based on more accurate observation from around 1000 BC. However, the numerous Sumerian names in these catalogues suggest that they built on older, but otherwise unattested, Sumerian traditions of the early Bronze Age. The classical zodiac is a revision of Neo Babylonian constellations from the 6th century BC. The Greeks adopted the Babylonian constellations in the 4th century BC. Twenty Ptolemaic constellations are from the ancient Near East. Another ten have the same stars but different names. Biblical scholar, E. W. Bullinger interpreted some of the creatures mentioned in the books of Ezekiel and Revelation as the middle signs of the four quarters of the zodiac, with the lion as Leo, the bull as Taurus, the man representing Aquarius, and the eagle standing in for Scorpio. The biblical book of Job also makes reference to a number of constellations, including Wise, Aish, Beer, Kasil Chesel, Fool, and Kaiv Chima. Heap. Job chapter 9 verse 9, 38 to 31 minus 32, rendered as Arcturus, Orion, and Pleiades by the KJV, but Aish, the beer, actually corresponding to Ursa Major. The term Maseroth Maserwat, translated as a garland of crowns, is a hopix legomenon in Job chapter 38 verse 32, and it might refer to the zodiacal constellations. Topic. Constellations in classical antiquity There is only limited information on ancient Greek constellations, with some fragmentary evidence being found in the works and days of the Greek poet Hesiod, who mentioned the "...heavenly bodies." Greek astronomy essentially adopted the older Babylonian system in the Hellenistic era, first introduced to Greece by Eudoxus of Cnidus in the 4th century BC. The original work of Eudoxus is lost, but it survives as a versification by Aratus, dating to the 3rd century BC. The most complete existing works dealing with the mythical origins of the constellations are by the Hellenistic writer termed Pseudo-Eratosthenes and an early Roman writer styled Pseudo-Hyginus. The basis of Western astronomy as taught during late antiquity and until the early modern period is the Almagest by Ptolemy, written in the 2nd century. In the Ptolemaic Kingdom, native Egyptian tradition of anthropomorphic figures representing the planets, stars, and various constellations. Some of these were combined with Greek and Babylonian astronomical systems culminating in the zodiac of Dendera, but it remains unclear when this occurred, but most were placed during the Roman period between 2nd to 4th centuries AD. The oldest known depiction of the zodiac showing all the now familiar constellations, along with some original Egyptian constellations, decans, and planets. Ptolemy Almagest remained the standard definition of constellations in the medieval period both in Europe and in Islamic astronomy. Topic. Constellations in ancient China Ancient China had a long tradition of observing celestial phenomena. Nonspecific star names, later categorized in the 28 mansions, have been found on oracle bones from Anyang, dating back to the Middle Shang dynasty. These constellations are some of the most important observations of Chinese sky, attested from the 5th century BC. Parallels to the earliest Babylonian Sumerian star catalogues suggest that the ancient Chinese system did not arise independently. Three schools of classical Chinese astronomy in the Han period are attributed to astronomers of the earlier Warring States period. The constellations of the three schools were conflated into a single system by Chen Zhou, an astronomer of the 3rd century Three Kingdoms period. Chen Zhou's work has been lost, but information on his system of constellations survives in Tang period records, notably by Qutan Zita. The oldest extant Chinese star chart dates to that period and was preserved as part of the Dunhuang manuscripts. 
Native Chinese astronomy flourished during the Song dynasty, and during the Yuan dynasty became increasingly influenced by medieval Islamic astronomy see Treatise on Astrology of the Kaiyuan Era. As maps were prepared during this period on more scientific lines, they were considered as more reliable. A well known map from the Song period is the Suzhou Astronomical Chart, which was prepared with carvings of stars on the planisphere of the Chinese sky on a stone plate. It is done accurately based on observations, and it shows the supernova of the year of 1054 in Taurus. Influenced by European astronomy during the late Ming dynasty, more stars were depicted on the charts but retaining the traditional constellations, new stars observed were incorporated as supplementary stars in old constellations in the southern sky which did not depict any of the traditional stars recorded by ancient Chinese astronomers. Further improvements were made during the later part of the Ming dynasty by Xu Guangqi and Johann Adam Schall von Bell, the German Jesuit and was recorded in Chongzhen Lishu Calendrical Treatise of Chongzhen Period, 1628. Traditional Chinese star maps incorporated 23 new constellations with 125 stars of the southern hemisphere of the sky based on the knowledge of western star charts. With this improvement, the Chinese sky was integrated with the world astronomy. Topic: <laughs> Early Modern Astronomy. Historically, the origins of the constellations of the northern and southern skies are distinctly different. Most northern constellations date to antiquity, with names based mostly on classical Greek legends. Evidence of these constellations has survived in the form of star charts, whose oldest representation appears on the statue known as the Farnese Atlas, based perhaps on the star catalogue of the Greek astronomer Hipparchus. Southern constellations are more modern inventions, sometimes as substitutes for ancient constellations e.g. Argo Navis. Some southern constellations had long names that were shortened to more usable forms, e.g. Musca Australis became simply Musca. Some of the early constellations were never universally adopted. Stars were often grouped into constellations differently by different observers, and the arbitrary constellation boundaries often led to confusion as to which constellation a celestial object belonged. Before astronomers delineated precise boundaries starting in the 19th century, constellations generally appeared as ill-defined regions of the sky. Today they now follow officially accepted designated lines of right ascension and declination based on those defined by Benjamin Gould in Epic 1875.0 in his star catalog Uranometria Argentina, the 1603 star atlas, Uranometria of Johann Baer assigned stars to individual constellations and formalized the division by assigning a series of Greek and Latin letters to the stars within each constellation. These are known today as Baer designations. Subsequent star atlases led to the development of today's accepted modern constellations. <laughs> <laughs> Origin of the southern constellations The southern sky, below about minus 65 degrees declination, was only partially catalogued by ancient Babylonians, Egyptian, Greeks, Chinese, and Persian astronomers of the north. Knowledge that northern and southern star patterns differed goes back to classical writers, who described, for example, the African circumnavigation expedition commissioned by Egyptian pharaoh Necho II in c. 600 BC and those of Hanno the navigator in c. 500 BC. However, much of this history was lost with the destruction of the Library of Alexandria. The history of southern constellations is not straightforward. Different groupings and different names were proposed by various observers, some reflecting national traditions or designed to promote various sponsors. Southern constellations were important from the 14th to 16th centuries, when sailors used the stars for celestial navigation. Italian explorers who recorded new southern constellations include Andrea Corsali, Antonio Pigafetta, and Amerigo Vespucci. Many of the 88 IAU recognized constellations in this region first appeared on celestial globes developed in the late 16th century by Petrus Plancius, based mainly on observations of the Dutch navigators Peter Dirks Zoon Kaiser and Frederick de Houtman. These became widely known through Johann Bayer's star atlas Uranometria of 1603. Seventeen more were created in 1763 by the French astronomer Nicolas Louis de Lacaille, appearing in his star catalogue, published in 1756. Several modern proposals have not survived. The French astronomers Pierre Lamanier and Joseph Lalande, for example, proposed constellations that were once popular but have since been dropped. 
The northern constellation Quadrans Miralis survived into the 19th century when its name was attached to the Quadrantid meteor shower, but is now divided between Boötes and Draco. 88 modern constellations A general list of 88 constellations was produced for the International Astronomical Union in 1922. It is roughly based on the traditional Greek constellations listed by Ptolemy in his Almagest in the 2nd century and Aratus work phenomena, with early modern modifications and additions most importantly introducing constellations covering the parts of the southern sky unknown to Ptolemy by Petrus Plancius 1592, 1597-98 and 1613, Johannes Hevelius 1690, and Nicholas Louis de Lacaille 1763, who named 14 constellations and renamed a 15 one. De Lacaille studied the stars of the Southern Hemisphere from 1750 until 1754 from Cape of Good Hope, when he was said to have observed more than 10,000 stars using a 0.5 inches refracting telescope. In 1922, Henry Norris Russell produced a general list of 88 constellations and some useful abbreviations for them. However, these constellations did not have clear borders between them. In 1928, the International Astronomical Union IAU formally accepted 88 modern constellations, with contiguous boundaries along vertical and horizontal lines of right ascension and declination developed by Eugene Delport that, together, cover the entire celestial sphere. This list was finally published in 1930. Where possible, these modern constellations usually share the names of their Greco Roman predecessors, such as Orion, Leo, or Scorpius. The aim of this system is area mapping, i.e. the division of the celestial sphere into contiguous fields. Out of the 88 modern constellations, 36 lie predominantly in the northern sky, and the other 52 predominantly in the southern. The boundaries developed by Delport used data that originated back to Epoch B1875.0, which was when Benjamin A. Gould first made his proposal to designate boundaries for the celestial sphere, a suggestion upon which Delport would base his work. The consequence of this early date is that because of the precession of the equinoxes, the borders on a modern star map, such as Epoch J2000, are already somewhat skewed and no longer perfectly vertical or horizontal. This effect will increase over the years and centuries to come. Topic dark cloud constellations The Great Rift, a series of dark patches in the Milky Way, is more visible and striking in the southern hemisphere than in the northern. It vividly stands out when conditions are otherwise so dark that the Milky Way's central region casts shadows on the ground. Some cultures have discerned shapes in these patches and have given names to these dark cloud constellations. Members of the Inca civilization identified various dark areas or dark nebulae in the Milky Way as animals and associated their appearance with the seasonal rains. Australian Aboriginal astronomy also describes dark cloud constellations, the most famous being the emu in the sky whose head is formed by the coalsack, a dark nebula, instead of the stars. Topic see also 88 modern constellations by area and language constellations listed by Ptolemy constellations listed by Petrus Plancius constellations listed by Johannes Hevelius constellations listed by Lacai list of constellations by area list of constellations in different languages lists of stars by constellation constellation family history of the constellations former constellations Chinese constellations celestial cartography also known as stellar cartography uranography star chart also also known as star map, celestial chart, star atlas. Topic references. Topic further reading. Topic mythology, lore, history, and archaeoastronomy. Allen, Richard Hinckley, 1899. Star names and their meanings. G. E. Stetchert, New York, New York, USA. Hardcover, reprint 1963. As star names, their lore and meaning. Dover Publications, Inc. Mineola, New York, USA. ISBN 978-0-486-21079-7. Softcover. Alcott, William Tyler, 1911, Star Lore of All Ages, G. P. Putnam's Sons, New York, New York, USA, Hardcover, Reprint 2004 as Star Lore, Myths, Legends, and Facts, Dover Publications, Inc., Mineola, New York, USA, ISBN 978-0-486-43581-7 Softcover. Kelly, David H. and Malone, Eugene F. 2004 Exploring Ancient Skies, an Encyclopedic Survey of Archaeoastronomy, Springer, ISBN 978-0-387-95310-6 Hardcover. 
Ridpath, Ian, 2018 Star Tales Second Ed., Lutterworth Press, ISBN 978-0-718-89478-8 Softcover. Stahl, Julius D. W. The New Patterns in the Sky, Myths and Legends of the Stars, Macdonald and Woodward Publishing Co. ISBN 0-939923-10-6 Hardcover, ISBN 0-939923-04-1 Softcover. Rogers, John H. 1998. Origins of the Ancient Constellations, I. The Mesopotamian Traditions. Journal of the British Astronomical Association, 108-9-28. Bibcode, 1998JBAA, .1089R. Rogers, John H. 1998. Origins of the Ancient Constellations, 2. The Mediterranean Traditions. Journal of the British Astronomical Association, 108-79-89. Bibcode, 1998JBAA, .1089R. Topic atlases and celestial maps General and non-specialized, entire celestial heavens, Beckver, Antonin. Atlas Celli. Published as Atlas of the Heavens, Sky Publishing Corporation, Cambridge, Massachusetts, USA, with coordinate grid transparency overlay. Norton, Arthur Phillip, 1910 Norton Star Atlas, 20th edition 2003 as Norton Star Atlas and Reference Handbook, edited by Ridpath, Ian, Pi Press, ISBN 978-0-13-145164-3, hardcover. National Geographic Society, 1957, 1970, 2001, 2007. The Heavens 1970, Cartographic Division of the National Geographic Society NGS, Washington, D.C., USA, two-sided large map chart depicting the constellations of the heavens, as special supplement to the August 1970 issue of National Geographic. Forerunner map is a map of the heavens, as special supplement to the December 1957 issue. Current version 2001 Tyrion, with 2007 reprint. Sinnott, Roger W. and Perryman, Michael A. C. Millennium Star Atlas, Epic 2000.0, Sky Publishing Corporation, Cambridge, Massachusetts, USA, and European Space Agency ESA, ESTEC, Nordwijk, The Netherlands. Subtitle, An All-Sky Atlas Comprising 1 Million Stars to Visual Magnitude 11 from the Hipparchos and Tycho Catalogues and 10,000 Nonstellar Objects, 3 Volumes, Hardcover, in Hardcover Slipcase, set ISBN 0-933346-84-0. Volume 1, 0-8 Hours Right Ascension, ISBN 0-933346-81-6 Hardcover, Volume 2, 8-16 Hours, ISBN 0-933346-82-4 Hardcover, Volume 3, 16-24 Hours, ISBN 0-933346-83-2 Hardcover. Softcover version available. Supplemental separate purchasable coordinate grid transparent overlays. Tyrion, Will, et al., 1987 Uranometria 2000.0, Wilman Bell, Inc., Richmond, Virginia, USA, 3 volumes, hardcover. Volume 1, 1987, The Northern Hemisphere to Minus 6 Degrees, by Will Tyrion, Barry Rappaport, and George Lovey, ISBN 0-943396-14X hardcover, printed boards blue. Volume 2, 1988, The Southern Hemisphere to Plus 6 Degrees, by Will Tyrion, Barry Rappaport and George Lovey, ISBN 0-943396-15-8 Hardcover, Printed Boards, Red. Volume 3, 1993, as a separate added work, The Deep Sky Field Guide to Uranometria 2000.0, by Murray Cragen, James Lukic, and Barry Rappaport, ISBN 0-943396-38-7 Hardcover, Printed Boards, Gray, 2nd Edition 2001, Black or Dark Background, as collective set of three volumes, Volume 1, Uranometria 2000.0 Deep Sky Atlas, by Will Tyrion, Barry Rappaport, and Will Remackless, ISBN 9 7-8-0-943-396-7-1-2 Hardcover, Printed Boards Blue Edging, Volume 2, Uranometria 2000.0 Deep Sky Atlas, by Will Tyrion, Barry Rappaport, and Will Remackless, ISBN 978-0-943-396-7-2-9 Hardcover, Printed Boards Green Edging, Volume 3, Uranometria 2000.0 Deep Sky Field Guide by Murray Cragen and Emil Bonanno, ISBN 978 
0-943396-73-6, hardcover, printed boards teal green. Tyrion, Will and Sinnott, Roger W. Sky Atlas 2000.0, various editions. Second Deluxe Edition, Cambridge University Press, Cambridge, England UK, Northern Celestial Hemisphere and North Circumpolar Region, Beckver, Antonin, 1962 Atlas Borealis 1950.0, Czechoslovak Academy of Sciences Seskoslovenský Akademie Ved, Praha, Czechoslovakia, First Edition, Elephant Folio Hardcover, with small transparency overlay coordinate grid square and separate paper magnitude legend ruler. Second edition 1972 and 1978 reprint, Czechoslovak Academy of Sciences Seskoslovenský Akademie Ved, Prague, Czechoslovakia, and Sky Publishing Corporation, Cambridge, Massachusetts, USA, ISBN 0-933346-01-8 Oversize folio soft cover spiral bound, with transparency overlay coordinate grid ruler, equatorial, ecliptic, and zodiacal celestial sky, Beckver, Antonin, 1958 Atlas Ecliptikalis 1950.0, Czechoslovak Academy of Sciences Seskoslovenský Akademie Ved, Praha, Czechoslovakia, first edition, elephant folio hardcover, with small transparency overlay coordinate grid square and separate paper magnitude legend ruler. Second edition 1974, Czechoslovak Academy of Sciences Seskoslovenský Akademie Ved, Prague, Czechoslovakia, and Sky Publishing Corporation, Cambridge, Massachusetts, USA, oversize folio soft cover spiral bound, with transparency overlay coordinate grid ruler, Southern Celestial Hemisphere and South Circumpolar Region, Beckver, Antonin. Atlas Australis 1950.0, Czechoslovak Academy of Sciences Seskoslovenský Akademie Ved, Praha, Czechoslovakia, first edition, elephant folio hardcover, with small transparency overlay coordinate grid square and separate paper magnitude legend ruler. Second edition, Czechoslovak Academy of Sciences Seskoslovenský Akademie Ved, Prague, Czechoslovakia, and Sky Publishing Corporation, Cambridge, Massachusetts, USA, oversize folio soft cover spiral bound, with transparency overlay coordinate grid ruler. Topic catalogs Beckver, Antonin, 1959 Atlas Celli II Catalog 1950.0, Praha, 1960 Prague. Published 1964 as Atlas of the Heavens, 2 Catalog 1950.0, Sky Publishing Corporation, Cambridge, Massachusetts, USA. Hirschfeld, Allen & Sinnott, Roger W. Sky Catalog 2000.0, Cambridge University Press and Sky Publishing Corporation, 1st edition, 2 volumes. LCCN 81,017,975 both vols, and LCCN 83,240,310 Volume 1. Volume 1, Stars to Magnitude 8.0, ISBN 0-521-24710-1 Cambridge and 0-933346-35-2 Sky Hardcover, ISBN 0-933346-34-4 Sky Softcover. Volume 2 1985, Volume 2, Double Stars, Variable Stars, and Nonstellar Objects, ISBN 0-521-25818-9 Cambridge Hardcover, ISBN 0-521-27721-3 Cambridge Softcover. Second edition 1991, with additional third author Frangois Osenbein, two volumes, LCCN 91026764. Volume 1, ISBN 0-521-41743-0 Cambridge Hardcover Black Binding, ISBN 0-521-42736-3 Cambridge Softcover Red Lettering with Hans Varenberg Astrophoto. Volume 2 1999, ISBN 0-521-27721-3 Cambridge Softcover and 0-933346-38-7 Sky Softcover, reprint of 1985 edition Blue lettering with Hans Varenberg Astrophoto. Yale University Observatory, 1908, et al., Catalog of Bright Stars, New Haven, Connecticut, USA. Referred to commonly as Bright Star Catalog. Various editions with various authors Historically, the longest term revising author is Ellen Dorit Hoffelet, 1st edition 1908. 
Second edition 1940 by Frank Schlesinger and Louise F. Jenkins, third edition 1964, fourth edition, fifth edition 1991, and sixth edition pending posthumous by Hofflet. Topic external links IAU, the constellations, including high-quality maps. Atlas Celestes, D. Felice Stapa. Star Tales Origins and Mythology of the Constellations Ian Ridpath Celestia Free 3D Real-Time Space Simulation Open Goal. Stellarium Real-Time Sky Rendering Program Open Goal. Strasbourg Astronomical Data Center Files on Official IAU Constellation Boundaries Interactive Sky Charts Java applets allowing navigation through the entire sky with variable star detail, optional constellation lines Studies of Occidental Constellations and Star Names to the Classical Period, an annotated bibliography Table of Constellations Online text, Hygienus, Astronomica translated by Mary Grant Greco-Roman Constellation Myths Neve Planetarium Adobe Flash Interactive Web Browser Planetarium and Stardome with realistic movement of stars and the planets Audio, Kane, Gay Astronomy Cast Constellations the Greek Star Map Short Essay by Gavin White